Committee is adjourned. Uh, Economic Development Committee will come to order. All members are present with the exception of Alderman McCain and Alderman Wiseman. Um, item 34 on the agenda. Uh, this was an item that was before last meeting. Um, new Class B tavern application for Talia's event venue at 7423 West King Street. Therese? Hello, thanks for having me back, guys. And you did your application? Yes, yes. And yes. I understand you are going to be applying for an, an event or uh, entertainment? Correct, well. that's correct. Yep, I submitted that as well. Um, and I think I want to clarify that this is, you're going to operate this as a private event venue? That's correct. And there's going to be no public access without reservations or rental of the space? Correct, right. yep. You say you accompany guests when they right. Come. It'll be a guest list. Yep. And um, there's going to be um, limits on the live music. Uh, um, what, what are you saying? Is what kind of events are you going to be running? So it'll be more formal events. Um, you know, corporate gatherings, um, networking events, um, birthday celebrations, and things of that nature. Yes, that's correct. Yep, yep, that's correct. From the evening. Yes, 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 Monday to Sunday. Yep. And uh, you're familiar with all of the uh, liquor license requirements? Yes, I am. The state of Wisconsin, the yeah. city of Gustavus? I move approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, guys. Carried. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, item 35 on the agenda, this is a new Class B Tavern and Public Entertainment uh, premise license for Gecko Venues at 7140 West Greenfield Avenue, Walter Holt and Holt and Marie Gigenbosch. So this is a new application. Um, obviously, it's going to impact our, our license quota again. Um, What kind of operations do you anticipate having or what kind of functions at the event center? Well, the majority of them are going to be uh, weddings, but we're, we've are we been under development now for about 14 months, so this is pretty significant. We're, uh, we're going to... Um, nice. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> going to be... We're really proud of it. It's going to be upscale, and um, we've already started booking, and um, it's... We're, you know, we're going to be open to corporate events or anything of that nature, but given the size of the property and, and uh, the amount of money that we put into the property, we're reaching out um, to a to an upper scale crowd and, you know, people that want to have usually weddings or uh, corporate parties or things of that nature of 100 plus people. But it, it's it's going to be, I think it'll be exciting for us and West Dallas. You, you list in, in here in your percentages, sales 20% per, uh, percent, um, alcohol, 5% entertainment, and 65% other. What well, is other is renting the space. Okay, so yeah, you're going to get yeah, the percent of your revenue is going to be from strictly the rental fees? Correct. That That's, that's what we expect. Okay, are you going to be selling the food items there or no well we have a brand new prep kitchen uh i guess i should say prep area we there will be no cooking on site whatsoever we do have a, a big area that uh, will accommodate outside caterers that are licensed um that that is really nice but we'll be doing no cooking on site it just seems like 65 percent of getting 65 percent of your revenue from just renting the, the space seems like an awful lot well, it's it's, yeah, but that's because uh, that's all it's going to be when you say it's other that the other is strictly rental. The ma the majority of it is is rental. Yeah, uh, we're our our big thing is um, I mean another the the parties will be responsible for the caterers, but you know it it might be it might be 70 30 but we're we're projecting you know based off of what we're charging people in pre-booking it's coming out to those numbers I just talked to your alcohol sales would be a higher 
Interesting. Well, we're we're hoping they will be. <laughs> we're, 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 yeah, we're uh, we're going to be doing some stuff out outdoors, uh, and uh, you know we're hoping we can increase that. You know, so, uh, but um, we're we're only also going to be our generally our our wedding events will will close at midnight. Uh, but you know there are exceptions where um, we will will be open later than that. But you know the first year or two will definitely be a learning experience, and we'll be able to you know get a real <laughs> definition of what those numbers are or aren't. So you're only going to be open for private events. You're not going to be open for public to come in and out for as of as of right now. As of right now, yeah. Uh, well, the, the, the public is going to be able to do the outside. Yeah, outside yeah. understands. Yeah. It's, it's a different right, right now, we're not doing day-to-day -day operations with the public inside. Is it sure? We're, we're kind of very similar as the, as, as the gauge. You know, they're... they're well, the, that, that right, the gauge isn't open, you know, for public to walk in and out have to get a drink. Correct. And, and Reese over there, we're holding into the same thing public isn't going to be able to come in and get a drink in your place and it's not going to be a bar in that's place. correct it's going to be an event venue you're going to have events there the people that are coming to the events are going to be the ones partaking there it, and, and exactly yep. absolutely correct anybody that isn't invited to the no event. that's 100 percent correct as with people advertising online and yeah. collecting <laughs> no that's that's <laughs> no no that's <laughs> the thing that's we're not, not no, you don't. That's Unless not. They crash the wedding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a little. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no wedding crashers. <laughs> no, yep. Yeah. No, we're not going down. No, uh, understandably. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, yeah. Yeah, was, yeah, thank you. And so, average wedding type event, how many of your staff do you anticipate being on site on premise? Uh, generally six of our staff, and that's with that's without the caterers. Generally, caterers, depending on the party, is anywhere from six to fifteen. Okay. So we'll have uh, generally one security. We'll have a couple other staffers. We'll always have one general manager, and then depending on the party size, one to two bartenders. So six, five to seven, but six is a good number. Tom, okay, good. Question. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, on your application by using others, I mean others could be uh, really uh, could be stent uh, on many avenues, you know, others. So so why cannot be specified exactly? What, what, what do you mean? What, I, I'm, others. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, you got others. Income's gonna come. Oh, well, uh, yeah, that's what he said. No, we're talking on the sales. On the sales, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So other, I mean, what's what's? But, other? Well, when I say when I say other, I'm talking specifically, uh, generally renting the space. Renting the space. That's what he said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The the the, the, the space I, rental. I know you said that before, but just I wonder for future reference, when others, I mean, it, it could be used used for anything, just about. Mm. I, I mean, yeah. I mean. Uh, it's, not, 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 not geared on how we're set up. Yeah, I would like to ask our city attorney. Just walked in. I'm assuming there's a box checks that says other as far as. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Yes. Yeah. And it's a certain percentage. It's 65 yes. percent. Yeah. So, and it sounded high to us, but. And again, this is my first year, so it was is an estimate somewhere between 60, 65 based, and that's. That number is coming from based off of what are our booking. In other words, when we book when we book an event or book a wedding, which we've already done mm -hmm. for uh, the end of twenty three twenty four, hypothetically, our our space to rent our space is um, seven thousand dollars or sixty five hundred dollars, and we we only um, the we only the client is only responsible for about twenty five hundred dollar bar minimum. So if if you if you have seven thousand and twenty five hundred, that's where the number is coming from. Now, right. granted, there's there's going to be discrepancies in in that number depending. Some sometimes you might get an Irish family that drinks a lot of <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, but but I, you know I didn't just pull that number out of the air. I, I'm I'm basing that number off of what we're currently booking. Okay. Got it. So to answer your question, the applicant's saying the other source is simply revenue from bookings. Yes. 
I move for approval. And I'll second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Good luck. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we look forward to it. Thank you. Yeah. Hope to see you at the outside. <laughs> right, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Uh, item 36 on the agenda is a new Class B Tavern and Public Entertainment premises license application for m and Adventures at 6540 West Branch. Melissa Hayes. She's here. Melissa is not here. Oh, Mr. Chair, I ask that we hold this, hold this give her another chance to come it. back. Yeah. Okay. This... This item will be held until our next meeting. Make sure that she gets her notification. And I move we adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. All right. Do you guys see Kale in the newspaper?